How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So I finally am back. I was gone for a few days in the hospital. My wife gave birth to our third child and everything went really well and smoothly. Thank you guys for all the congratulations and everything. If you want to see a pic of baby Leon, I put, did post a picture of him on Twitter. Uh, but anyways, I am... Gonna have to talk about some major news in Brawlhalla that happened while I was away. And that is the announcement of the new legend, Jayun. I might be saying his name wrong, so I apologize. Jayun, he's a, a new legend that has a new weapon added to the game as well, and that is the Great Sword. Let's just go ahead and look on YouTube. So normally, actually, let me turn this down a little bit. Normally when a new weapon and a new legend comes out, you guys know I'm all over that, making a video on that so that you guys can see it. Uh, but obviously I'm late to the to the scene on this because I was in the hospital. So if you look up uh, Brahala Greatsword on YouTube, there's already a ton of really good videos about the uh, Greatsword and about the new uh, legend. So, um, I watched a few of them, and honestly, I think the best one is Egg Soup's video. He did a really good job just so that, just making it uh, concise and also just uh, showing and explaining how the Great Sword works. And so, I'm not going to do that in this video. It's already been done. If you really want to know like everything about how it works, just watch Egg Soup's video. He's a really cool guy. He makes really good videos, and he's good for the community, etc. He's also extremely good at the game, better than me. So, anyways... Um, my thoughts on the greatsword, I love it. Absolutely, I love it. I, I do wish that the animations looked a little bit better. Uh, they do seem a little bit choppy and like kind of like beta-ish or alpha-ish. Like I'm, I'm hoping that they're not the final animations because it does seem a little bit... Like not all of the attacks, like that one looks fine. Um, but some of the attacks look a little bit uh, low budget or just, you know, not finished. Kind of, Almost like worse than the first canon before they even made the canon animations better. So I'm hoping they do that. Also, um, Jayun himself, I don't, I'm not really big on his look. He's kind of cool, but I, I'm hoping that he has better looking skins than the default skin there. And he, and he will, I'm sure. And, and the great sword itself also, I don't think it looks very cool right there. So I'm really looking forward to the great sword skins that are going to come out. And as far as Jayun's signature moves, Egg Soup doesn't really go into them in this video, unfortunately. Um, but they they they're they're pretty cool, I guess. They're they're nothing like mind blowing or anything. It's pretty much as you would expect. Uh, actually, I think near the end of the video, he kind of shows some of the uh, some of the sword sigs. Yeah, I like that. Um, so is he is he an awesome looking legend? Yes, I will say, I and I could have people vouch for me for me. I said years ago that it would be cool to have a great sword in the game like a giant sword i can't believe they're actually doing it like i'm i was literally shocked when i heard they were doing great sword because i i've been saying i wanted a great sword for a long time and the fact that they're actually doing it is insane that's the first time i've actually said like i really want this weapon and actually they they made the weapon so anyways uh, that's the great sword, and I can't wait to play it. As far as the release date, they did say that uh, it's going to come out soon. They didn't really give a time or a day or whatever, as far as I know. It's probably going to come out like in a week or two. So, yeah. My guess is we're going to get the Heat Wave event uh, next week, and then we'll get the great sword and Jayun uh, the week after that. That's, I'm just guessing, but we're going to get it very soon. And when it does come out, you know I'm going to be making videos on that. So that's about it as far as my thoughts on Jayun and the Great Sword. I know that a lot of you guys have been wondering what I was thinking on that. So can't wait, can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. And definitely check out Egg Soup. Uh, his video is awesome. The the channel is great work. All right, so let's get back to Brahalla. I do want to actually do some more daily missions. Uh, let's see. I need recovery attack KO, sword legend wins, and cannon. Do we have a sword cannon legend? Yes, we do. We have Sidra. So. I'm gonna play a little bit of Sidra, and uh, yeah, you guys can stick around if you want to watch me play some games. Otherwise, yeah, that was my thoughts on Canon pretty much. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, though. Like, I, I wish I would have been able to to show you the Canon like right when it was announced and stuff, but you know, sadly, I just couldn't do it from where I was in the hospital. Oh my goodness, we're probably gonna get destroyed here. 
This guy looks super good. <laughs> but looks can be deceiving. But he's got like a, a Brawl League avatar, so he probably plays in tournaments. Oh man, and I, I haven't played in days. Okay, no excuses, no excuses. Oh, like, come on, man. I let you get the weapon. That's the only thing I don't like about tournament people. They they don't let they don't let you get weapons like in the beginning of the match. They would they would rather just attack right away, and that, I don't I don't like that. I like I like sportsmanship where we each get a weapon and then we go at it. But that's just me. Ooh, that caught me barely. Got him. Ooh, I love that sword down stick because of how fast it is. If they get in that sweet spot, there's really nothing you can do. Oh, that was good. That was really good. I was hoping he would jump like earlier, but he did not. He waited to see what I would do. I shouldn't have done that. That's a that's a KO. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, that's a KO. Kinda almost got lucky with the clash, but hey. Hi-Fi Anato Anatomia. Katars are really good at defending the ground from like aerial attacks because of the down light. Even the neutral light. GG dude, GG. I was dead anyways. GG. I gotta shake off that rust boys, you know what I'm saying? But hey, we still got challenges uh, progress. We got cannon damage right there. So let's do another game with Sidra and see how we do this time. Oh man. I still, I need to play Sidra so this is perfect because uh, she's one of the legends that I, I literally will pro she'll probably be like the last legend I get to level 25 in black colors. If you guys have been following my channel you know that I've been trying to get level 25 with and black colors with every legend in the game. And I have, I think, 43 legends right now with black colors. So there's only like seven more left. And Sidra's one of them. She's like one of my least played legends uh, of all time. So that's probably why I'm doing so terrible. But to be honest, it's all good. I'm just trying to do battle pass. He attacked me first. was that neutral sick? There it is. 
He's not bad at all. I like the black uh, Val skin as well. That's pretty cool. Oops, I meant to do a neutral sig. I don't know why I got a side sig out of that. Ooh, that caught my uh, gravity cancel side light? Dang. The biggest dummy. <laughs> I find that chasing gauntlets doesn't work out too well. Woo! The reason I'm spamming down airs is because he likes to he likes to do side light, uh, light on gauntlets, and it really takes away that option of like floating right right next to me. Oh, that backfired. Chigi do Chigi. There we go, played a little bit better that time, Isidra. You know, it takes me a game or two to get warmed up. Not to mention the first guy I played was just insanely good. Uh, let's see, sword wins, recovery, techios, and cannon damage. So we're hitting lots of battle pass missions. I still need the dash thrown weapon KO. That just eludes me. I don't know why. It just seems so hard to do. Mm, let's do crack and Sidra charge to OG colors this time. Any of you guys are uh, Sidra mains, they don't seem to exist, but like, she's actually a really good legend too. Going against Gorgan Grog. Strange name, but then again, so is my name. Ooh, Kaya's really good. This stage is really good for Kaya too because of the bow neutral sig. It can hit the platforms like when you're standing here. Hold that, please. Oh no, oh no. See what I mean? He's going for the neutral stick because he knows. He knows. You dead. That was a dash weapon throw, please. I did dash and throw it, come on. Nice. No, oh, I didn't quite get there. Dang, that would have been awesome if I touched. I just killed myself. I thought I touched the wall. Feels bad. Just put myself in a hole, but we can still get it out. 
This is gonna be really, really tough now. Cause this guy is pretty good. There it is. All right, I mean, we have a chance, but literally I killed myself. That's, ugh. One thing that I, I learned when I was like in gold and platinum is stop killing yourself. I know it sounds stupid and easy, but, like, but man, I used to do that all the time. Just stop making mistakes that get you killed. It's like when you're playing tennis. Any of you guys play tennis? I, I don't really anymore, but I used to play it pretty casually in, in, the, in the back of the day. But like, if you hit it into the net, your opponent doesn't even have to do anything and they can win the game. So it's like, stop beating yourself, you know what I'm saying? In this game, you can beat yourself too. This guy is very patient. There it is. I knew it. He would do give me with that eventually. Oh man, that's that's game. That's game. GG dude. See what I mean? Oh, this stage is so good for Kaya because of that neutral sig in the platforms. GG dude, GG. He played well. Honestly, if I didn't kill myself. Oh, I got the dash weapon through. Oh yeah. That's all I really care about. I got the dash throwed weapon. That's like literally 50 games in the making. Ooh. Soulfire Nash. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm so happy I got that dash weapon throw. So now I just need recovery, tech KOs, sword legend wins, and cannon damage. I guess keep playing Sidra. Um, but actually, guys, I'm probably just going to end the video there. Um, we did pretty good. Did some challenges. And yeah, I mean, not putting down that guy. He was really good. But if I didn't kill myself that one time with the wall touch, I probably would have won. But dang. Oh, well, anyways, it's not ranked, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, please drop a like if you did. I can't wait for Jayun and the Great Sword when that comes out. I'm definitely going to make videos on that, as well as the Heat Wave event. And who knows what we'll get with the Heat Wave event, man. That, we always get a few good skins with the Heat Wave event. I mean, we got the Pool Party, Diana. We got the uh, the Cross uh, Heat Wave skin. The, the Water Wars Cross. Tons of uh, Heat Wave skins. I hope we get one for Volkov. That would be funny. He's my closest legend to level 25, so he's probably going to be my next black legend, and honestly, I cannot wait. He reminds me a lot of the dude in Bloodborne, that's why I love him so much. Anyways, guys, <laughs> enough rambling. This is Lucian Sword. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, take it easy, guys.